All right, so here we are. Let me go ahead and get my timer set to make sure I stay true to my commitment under five minutes. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, the adjustment layers under the image first. So what we're going to do is we're just going to talk about the brightness and contrast over here. So when you get to the brightness and contrast, you get a little dialog box here that's going to pop up. And within this little dialog box, it's really simple to easily come in here and to just slide things right and left make sure that you have your preview available but what we're going to do is we're just going to click the auto we're going to kind of get into the habit of clicking that just to see what photoshop's going to give us before we really start diving in and adjusting things in a manner in a way that um we think looks good versus what photoshop thinks okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to double click this layer right here uh, hit OK. That's going to give us an opportunity to unlock the layer we're going to hit command j which is going to duplicate the layer. So get into the habit right here of, um, uh, I can't type at the same time, talk and type at the same time. Um, we're going to call this the one, okay? Um, just to really keep it simple, you can name your layers whatever you want. So we're working on this layer right here, and this layer being over top is going to take precedence over this layer right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here to the image, and we're going to say adjustments, um, brightness, and contrast and we're just going to click auto and we're going to see what it's going to give us and when we click that auto there um, Photoshop's going to do its thing start thinking about it and it's going to make an adjustment for us okay so what we can do immediately is we can come over here and we can say um, the preview on and off which is just like turning on the eyeball here and we can also say use legacy you know and we can click the auto inside the legacy there and we can say what's going on there okay so whatever it is you decide to do so let's go ahead and click the auto and the legacy is just kinda like the older way that Photoshop used to do things versus the newer way basically so it's not a really a big deal whether you have this uh, legacy or not if you're an old Photoshop user um, this right here can help you in reference to the way that they used to do things but you see we have an eyedropper here on the screen here as our tool and the eyedropper automatically comes by default in reference to the brightness and contrast. So as I click the little eyedropper here, I'm able to click and sample the different little colors. And you can see that the colors showing up over here inside the, um, uh, the little panel here. Really simple, really easy. So we can click, you know the auto we can bring the brightness up and we can bring the brightness down um, you can kind of see where you can kind of get into the contrast and we can get into the brightness and you can even type these numbers in so let's say we want to do 65 uh, for sure you know we can type the 65 in the house looks a little bit washed out there to my liking so I'm going to go back to the auto there and I'm going to select that let's go ahead and cancel it here first and then what we're going to do is we're going to come back here we're going to go back to the uh, image adjustments brightness and contrast and we're going to click the auto and we're going to see what, what kind of result it's going to give us so right over here in the brightness and contrast you can see where um, Photoshop give us a recommendation I'm not necessarily too happy with that let me turn the preview off turn it back on you see it looks a little bit better there but I'm just going to bump this up just a little bit more okay and reference to my liking I'm going to hit OK and you can see my adjustment is taking effect there and you turn it on turn it off now one thing I do want you to notice that the reason why we created a new layer because this is destructive if you decided to not create a new layer or duplicate the layer and do it here there's no going back once you commit to this okay so this is destructive this is kind of a no-no in Photoshop in reference to um, not being able to go back in things um, however um, I will be showing you some shortcuts on how to go back in reference to the quick adjustment layer that we made there. So that concludes the brightness and contrast. We're done with this part right here. Like I said, we're just going to kind of fly through these to help you understand what you can do and what's available for you. So I'll see you in the next lecture. All right. Take it easy. Bye-bye now.